Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to Papa Hector's podcast. Today's topic, ground zero. Manifestation of a new you. So, if you haven't already done so, you can go to anchor.fm iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify, and subscribe to this podcast. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Hungan Hector, H O U N G A N H E C T O R. And, of course, go to HectorSalva.com, H-E-C-T-O-R-S-A-L-V-A.com to get all of our latest stuff and sign up for my newsletter. So, today is actually January 4th, 2020. So first and foremost, Happy New Year to all of you. And as many people in the new year have done, and you may be doing as well, many people like to start their new years with a new year's resolution. A new year in making a new you. But what is needed to really manifest something new and different in your life? So let me tell you first about a place that I like to call Ground Zero. Ground Zero is a world, a realm within the spiritual worlds, within the spiritual realms, in the astral plane. Ground zero is a clear space from which everything later manifests. And I first discovered ground zero over 20-some years ago when doing spiritual work for someone who was looking to return a lost love. And in my spiritual work, I landed upon this astral plane known as Ground Zero. And it was completely devoid of anything. It was a complete blank space for anything. And landing upon this ground, this world, was so mysterious because... There was nothing as far as up, down, left, or right. There was no directions. Directions didn't exist. And in this place, there was nothing of existence. Here, I called upon my spirits my mysteries. And amongst them, those many years back, a mystery that I was aware of but had never had an experience with or interacted with showed up. This mystery being Grand Zero. So I had learned about him in my learnings in my apprenticeship, my discipleship. However, until yet, I had not interacted with him. 
And this mystery of God, this misterio, is very mystifying. A very powerful spirit. And he appeared to me here in this realm in the form that he carries as a saint. So, when I saw that saint, I recognized the saint. However, it didn't click to me who it was in that moment. Because ground zero can be very disorienting place. So, I heard his name like thunder clamoring around me in this silent space known as ground zero and suddenly like thunderclaps his name as a misterio ground zero grand zero came out and i knew who i was dealing with at that point, I still didn't know what to call this l new location that I landed at. And I would later come to learn that there are other similar places, but they are different than this location. So... The mysteries there showed me and we were able to do the work to create cords, to manifest cords, to attach to the lost lover of my client so that we could reel them in like a fishing rod back towards my client. And... It was quite a amazing process because going from the creation of the chords, we had to go into another realm, okay, a very common spiritual realm, the realm of where one can find human spirits. And I had to go and in search of my client's lost love who I eventually found and place the end of the hook into him then return to ground zero at which point from that point of return to ground zero I could then exit the space and use what had been set in place, these hooks and these cords, to start to reel this person back in towards my client. And many lessons have come since that time from ground zero. And I've ended up showing up there spiritually many times willingly and unwillingly, intentionally and unintentionally. However, one thing that Ground Zero teaches you, okay, is that in order to manifest something new, in order to create something, you need to clear the slate. And you need to th bring things back down to a point of ground zero. You have to be willing to open up open up completely in that space so that new paths can become opened for you. 
new knowledge, new awareness, and new wisdom can spring forward for you. And in this place of ground zero, many impossibilities become possible. And that which is probable can become. But many times when people go about making changes and manifesting change, such as New Year's resolutions, people hop, they run, just like with many, like say, New Year's resolutions to lose weight. People run to the extreme opposite end, trying to go from zero to a hundred real quick, which is why it's well known that gym memberships go up in the new year, the gym becomes packed, there's hardly any parking, you have to wait to get on any machine, but then by February... Feb mid-February, the gym has returned to its normal, normal um, activity, normal amount of people coming, kind of like its normal flow. Because early on in the year, everyone starts, you know, going and working out six times a week and really working really hard towards their goal. But oftentimes that initial drive lacks what's needed behind it in order to continue its movement forward. And then people run out of steam. In ground zero... You learn to be open to what come. And you can begin to create and you can create the tools and what is needed in order to achieve. But the beauty of Ground Zero is that in this absolute clear space, anything and everything becomes possible. And it can become a jumping space towards that which you hope to achieve. Now, ground zero is really an experience. It is not something that you'll totally be able to fully absorb if you haven't experienced ground zero. But when you do experience it, every single thing that I've said here will fall into place and click for you. Ground Zero is a popular place for advanced 
an unraveled spiritual sages to be able to work and create and manifest change. Ground Zero shows you and reminds you that change is regular and constant. So in going into your New Year's resolution, in going into your 2020, okay, Bring that with you. No matter what your hardship is, no matter what your problem may be, realize that the one constant in life is change. And that being so, things don't have to be bad where you don't have to carry that problem forever. With trust, you'll be able to bring forward that knowing that change is constant and does happen. An important part, however, to remember when you're working towards your goals, when you're moving towards your goals, is to not become so engrossed so fixated so entrenched with your expectations and the end result because when you do so you miss the journey you miss opportunities. You stop being open. You close yourself off. And by closing yourself off, you close yourself off to greater potentials than you could have even thought of. And you will come to misinterpret things and malperceive things. And opportunities may show up and you may not be able to see them. By becoming too tied up with your expectations and your goals, you don't allow free flow. And as you constrict, you tie up with your expectations and your desire for that goal and that goal and only that goal. you begin to constrict and choke the life out of what you're trying to create. You begin to actually tie it down So that 
it's not free to manifest and exist. So, as you work on your goals this year and in the future, You need to allow space for the journey and the transformations and the changes and the shifts and what needs to happen to take place. You want to allow for things to come as they will. And see them clearly. One of the teachings that we learn from the space of ground zero and the mystery of grand zero is that things need space. You need to allow space and allow space for things to come into being. Focusing on what you're doing rather than totally in where you're going. Knowing that what you're doing is taking you to where you're going. But by focusing on what you're doing rather than the expectation and the end result, you'll gain more. The journey will be funner. It will be better. It will be happier. And there will be more opportunity and more open doors. So that things can come into being where they were not before. So, as always, I hope that this podcast has illuminated for you. Illuminated you and illuminated for you some things, some knowledge, some wisdom, and helped you. And we wish you the best. Have a very happy new year, a very happy 2020. Just if you're unaware, would like to make you aware that this May, May 1st, 2020, my book on the 21 divisions mysteries and magic of dominican voodoo will be coming out you can attain it on barnes and nobles amazon.com and indiebound it is already available for pre-order and you're definitely going to want to order your copy now Because they say that the order is already gotten very large and you want to be a part of that first batch. So, that's A. B is check us out. Upcoming, we have it on Facebook. Upcoming February 2020, we are having a ceremony February 1st, 2020, for the spirits. There's wonderful opportunity to receive protection 
at that time as well. And lastly, as always, make sure that you subscribe so that you can be the first to get my newest stuff here on this podcast. And you can check us out on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Stitcher, or Spotify. However, check out our site, H-E-C, T-O-R-S-A-L-V-A dot com where you can sign up for my newsletter where generally I try to send out a newsletter blast on everything that we do shortly after doing it and we're on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook of course so keep the faith and happy 2020